I'm good. 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 This is a free firearm training in downtown Minneapolis, held one week after George Floyd was killed by police on the very same block. My name's Maj. My organization is called Black Guns Matter. Maj Toure often leads free self-defense lessons with replica guns, but this time feels different. We are here because a man's life was taken, and we are not allowing that to happen again. And Maj is passionate about firearms education, something he says is sorely needed in many cities where people don't always know the path to legal gun ownership. And while many argue that the way to prevent violence is to have fewer guns, Maj says the opposite. When I hear unarmed black man, I'm sad, because there should be no such thing. The police, as we see, will leave. They will not come to save you. They will not save our businesses. Maj bought a flight to Minneapolis as soon as he saw protests unfolding in late May. If you would like a free basic firearm safety class, you can get it right here. He's dedicated the past four years to promoting guns as a means of self-defense, an approach that faces major opposition in the United States. And he's used to encountering hesitation. If he's nervous around firearms, it's good. This ain't the real thing. But it feels like the real thing, and you can still learn with it. Who has not touched a firearm before in their life? You? Now, is he going to be looking at the bad guy that's trying to get him? No. He's going to focus completely on that front sight. I believe that more black people would be alive if they were armed. The question of whether guns make anyone safer is highly debated in the United States. And studies show that certain firearm regulations can lead to less gun violence. Maj testified in a congressional hearing on gun violence last September. To add more restrictions to good Americans solves nothing. That's where he met Amber Goodwin, who runs a gun violence prevention group and has a different approach to the issue. What we do know is that when Black people do have guns, they are still shot and killed by police or by other bystanders. Breonna Taylor, her boyfriend was lawfully owning a gun and she was still shot and killed. And so I think the issue is larger than just give black people guns. About a quarter of black Americans said they're gun owners in a 2017 survey, compared to 36% of white Americans. But the National African American Gun Association says ownership among black people is growing. Nearly 15,000 new members have joined so far in 2020, according to the founder. We're probably unofficially over 45,000 people that have joined the organization. Last three months have been the most growth uh, that we've seen in the organization. Ahmaud Arbery, George Floyd, that was the turning point. And Maj says demand for his services is higher than ever. The phone calls are up about four to six extra a day. I have 20,788 unread emails. And that's a big difference from when Maj started the group in 2016, with the goal of filling a gap he says other gun groups weren't paying attention to. We saw so much ignorance going on. We saw that people were catching the same, you know, possession of a firearm charge. We created a space to let people know what process it was of getting a firearm lawfully, carrying it on their person if they chose to, while being safe and responsible. In a country where black Americans are 10 times more likely to die by gun homicide than white Americans, according to an advocacy group, Amber says many people are left out of the conversation. I think there's a kind of a culture, part of it has been from stakeholders like policymakers, but also from the media that there's either gun rights or gun control, and there hasn't been as much importance put on what is actually happening in Black, Latinx, and Indigenous communities. A recent Gallup poll found that a majority of Americans feel that sales of firearms should be more strict. And a lot of times in our community, a lot of our politicians, unfortunately, say, don't have a gun, you don't need a gun. Well, I, I push back on that and say that's the very thing that we do need. Maj takes a firm stance against gun control, saying it disadvantages Black people today. I pick my words very carefully. All gun control is racist. Whether they change it to make it look like, you know, you got to pay a fee, you got to do this, you got to do that. Experts we spoke to said it's complicated when it comes to current laws. But many of the earliest restrictions on gun ownership in the 18th and 19th centuries were specifically targeted at black people. Gun control in America was initially created to stop melanated beings from having arms. 
In the 1960s, the Black Panther Party for Self-Defense advocated for the right to bear loaded arms in public, with the goal of protecting black neighborhoods from police. All power to the people. In 1967, then-California Governor Ronald Reagan signed a bill outlawing open carry of firearms. Even the National Rifle Association supported gun control laws at the time. Today, the NRA opposes most restrictions on firearms, but Maj ended his membership last year because he felt they didn't do enough. All of them other organizations, it ain't, they ain't doing what we're doing with BGM. They not, because they not from the cloth. The NRA did not respond to our request for comment. Second Amendment advocates shown on TV today are often white men with guns in hand. USA! USA! But Maj prefers to conceal carry so people don't know what he has to defend himself. One of his rifles is red, black, and green, in honor of the Pan-African flag. And we also have some sarcastic quotes on here. Find another one, quote Rosa Parks. You know, and there's another one of Malcolm X on here saying, who's that in my driveway? If you got a gun, and I got a gun. Seems like we already made a mistake then. No. Back in Minneapolis, some onlookers challenge his approach. It depends on the situation. No, here's the situation. I'm the bad guy. I'm coming to kill you because I want that sweet bandana you got. What do you do? You don't have a gun. I got trouble, man. You die. Or, or, or you have a firearm and you say, don't move. Listen, the police have been called, even if I never call the police, but I'll say it. I won. I beat you. You're right. Uh, he said, uh, he's white, too. See he's, this? he's white like you. He said, I'm right. The key, he says, is education. Is you should have the ability to defend yourself. It is your Second Amendment human right to do so. You want to treat this muzzle like a lightsaber on Star Wars, all right? Right, you keep it down. When you've decided that you have to neutralize that threat, then you put your finger on that trigger. There is so much fear and misinformation on firearms in general, which as a country that has a Second Amendment as part of their constitution, it's it's something that's really important for us to learn. I haven't considered buying a gun. Maybe I am considering it now. And when Maj walks into a Black Lives Matter crowd and meets so many people who have never touched a gun before, he says his work feels all the more urgent. People somehow forget that we have the right to defend our lives with firearms.